You are not what was done to you. You are what you became. You are what you chose to be. You are what you transformed yourself into. And that's the most important thing that you can focus on right now that your ancestors and your higher self want you to focus on is just allowing yourself to let go a little bit and just be you. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And I would love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile four. I meant to say pile three, by the way. Um, maybe four is important to you. Maybe you've been seeing it a lot. Maybe there's a lot of balancing of your mind and your thoughts that you need to do. Um, it could also be that you are working with the four elements in a very good way. We have two quarters here too. So 25 can mean something to somebody as well. You could be 25 years old. Um, be dealing with somebody who's 25 years old. Um, one's from Canada and one's from the United States. Northern Mariana Islands. So there could be a need to take some time away to go on a vacation. Um, birds may also be a very strong message for you in this pile as well. You could be thinking of taking a cruise or going on some sort of boat trip. Um, 2009 may be important as well. Or 2007. Canada, Elizabeth II making me think of the Olympics. <laughs> um, you may be a very strong person, a very authoritative person, somebody who is very honest too. I feel like you may be very honest. You may be somebody who believes in the rights of people, yourself and others. Um, you're somebody who may be in the spotlight as well. You may be somebody who supports uh, guns. You may be somebody who hunts. Um some time in a in in a forest or on a beach may really help you or benefit you you could go to the forest or the beach for uh time away from the world to get yourself centered and grounded. You're somebody who is very much out of this world, somebody who's very different, very unique, somebody who has their own ways of doing things. Um you could also believe in star seeds as well. You are somebody that is very bright and shiny. Somebody that really brings a lot of new ideas and perspectives to others. You may also surprise people a lot. Um, they could think you are one way and then you completely blow their mind because you are something else entirely. You may be really working on healing some of the emotional aspects of yourself. Um... You may be healing your heart energy. Heart chakra would be something to work on as well for this pile. He who wants the rose must respect the thorn, Persian proverb. So anybody who really truly wants to have you in their life must respect that you are a whole person. You are not somebody who is all light and sunshine all the time because that's not realistic. You are moon too. You are not just good. You are bad. You have both sides. You are somebody who is a full person. And if anybody wants to be in your life, then they have to respect that fact that you are a full person, not somebody who is only, only love and light all the time or only shadow and darkness all the time. And vice versa, if if you want other people in your life, you are going to have to realize that too. We have this, which is reminding me of Mars energy right now as well. There may be a need to take action here. Um, once again, with the star seats, um, there really may be a need to take action here. And I was hearing Palladian too. It's some sort of action in your life to change things. To show your inner self more as well. You are so beautiful. And now I'm thinking of. You are so beautiful to me. And it's making me think of the little rascals. Where he's on stage singing with little bubbles coming out of his mouth. And <sighs> yeah. I am beautiful. I am sweet. Knowing me is such a treat. I'm smart and kind, caring too, but you make me so blue. Time for a change, a nice retreat. I'm unwilling to fill that seat. I need to rewire, get some rest, so I know I deserve the best. Stomp out those 
mean voices inside. Time to heal. Enjoy the ride. I was also he hearing Pile 1 during that, too. And actually, I was thinking about Pile 2, because Pile 2 is the one that came out with Queen... No, Queen of Pentacles was in Pile 1. So, yeah, Pile 1, if you feel drawn to watching Pile 1, go ahead and watch that as well. Um... I'm going to read this one more time because I feel like you really need to hear this message. I am beautiful. I am sweet. Knowing me is such a treat. I am smart and smart and kind, caring too, but you make me feel so blue. Time for change, a nice retreat. I'm unwilling to fill that seat. I need to rewire and get some rest so I know I deserve the best. Stomp out those mean voices inside. Time to heal. Enjoy the ride. So, yeah, either in the past or now. You may be coming out of the rest, but I feel like it's, uh, in the past, you were really allowing others to treat you in ways that were unfair. You were allowing others to give to you without, or with, to take from you without giving to you as well, because you didn't feel like you deserved their kindness and their love. And so now it's time to know that you deserve people's kindness. You deserve people's love. You deserve to be treated with care and respect and dignity and integrity, tone, and other people deserve that as well. I adopt a warm, kind, and loving tone, especially during tense interactions. Knowing that hostile tones can escalate civil disagreements into total apocalyptic meltdowns, I do my best to play the bigger role and keep things calm and loving. My docile tone will remain steadfast, but no promises about the twitching eyeball. And I want to say, too, that eagles are very representative of individuality. You are going your own way in this because... Most people don't do this. Most people want to go to war, period. Most people want to go to war. And it's not time to go to war. It's time to go to peace. How to get what you want without screeching is what it says on his little book, too. So you're really learning how to... You may have had to come out of an energy where other people were just walking all over you. And so you may have went into a very, very... It's a masculine form of energy where you were... In that overbearing energy yourself and um, where you are fighting to survive or fighting to win instead of fighting for peace, which is who you really are at the core. You are somebody who is very peaceful and loving and kind. And so it's time to open yourself back up to going back into that energy and not allowing other people to make you feel like you're naive or stupid or silly or anything else for being a loving, kind person and trying to be the bigger person. Yeah, you're somebody very optimistic, hopeful, generous, kind, loving. You spread a lot of love, light, and positivity everywhere you go and it's time to really step more fully into that role to step into this healing loving energy that brings out the love you can't cast out hate with hate you can only cast out hate with love and you know what there may have been a partnership you were in before that you're re-examining now that you're in a state of self-love as well. Now that you are in a state where your thoughts and mind and life are balanced, you are enjoying life so much more because you love yourself and you're caring for yourself. And as you love and care for yourself, you start to notice that you can love and care for everyone around you in such a better way. You are really, you know, there's this cross here too. So you may be Christian as well. And Jesus is a very good example of unconditional love, unconditional kindness, unconditional caring, wanting to be the bigger person and do the right thing. And you can do this. And you do this by not only loving the world outside yourself, but by loving you. You also do that best, what's the best thing for you, not just everyone else. And in doing that, you are opening yourself up to be in your best energy when associating with other people too. There may even be a marriage coming in here or um, something of the sort as well. There's a lot of celebrations, a lot of love of life going on. We have let go of the past, free your heart of that weight. It's time to move forward and to let go and to release anything that has been dragging you down or making you feel like you needed to fight because right now is not the time for fighting. It's the time for peace. Say sorry. Pride is not worth it. Love is always the answer. I'm a very firm believer in that. And you know what? 
if there's something that you're holding back that you need to say sorry for, that you need to apologize for, it's time to apologize for that. Whether anybody else is apologizing or not does not matter. What matters is what you are doing. It doesn't matter what anybody outside of us is doing. It matters what we are doing in our own lives and with the people around us. Sometimes you have to play the fool to the fool who thinks they are fooling you. For some of you, I feel like it's time to not care if anybody thinks you're stupid or naive for being your true loving self, but to just do it anyway. And to know that you have the discernment to know who's good for you and who isn't. And to know that it's also time to let go of any kind of pretending energy too. And to just allow yourself to be you. Happiness is found within and you are starting to see it. So happiness isn't in the people you have around you, the places you have around you, anything like that. It's all within yourself and whether or not you are feeling at peace with you and who you are. And if you're feeling at peace with you and who you are, it doesn't matter how many people you have around you who are nasty or mean, you're still going to be happy because you are at peace with yourself. <clears throat> When I look into your eyes, I never see any lies. When I look into your eyes, I never see any lies. When I see your face, my heart begins to race. I wrote a poem at one point that started with those lines. And when I see your face, my heart begins to race was the next lines. Allowing yourself to be at peace and not allowing your fear to be triggered is going to be very important for this pile as well. Allowing yourself to let go of past pain, hurt, scars, and trauma so that you can step into who you really are and be who you really are, which is somebody who is very joyful, loving, positive, peaceful, happy, outgoing, somebody that just really loves yourself and takes care of yourself and in turn really loves the world around you and takes care of the world around you as well. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you thought of this reading in the comments below on whether or not it resonated with you and your situation on whether or not you maybe know who some of these ancestors are, um, as well. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye guys.